Warning, the following game which you are about to view is rated M for Mature due to animated blood and gore, animated violence, and realistic blood and gore. Also, this is a horror game, so, scares. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone, this is Tales from One Nine. welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Blind. Alright, so I decided to start back here, and I'm gonna say this, I fought those stupid dogs for 25 five minutes trying to maintain a decent amount of health by the end of it it took forever now there was one room i wanted to try and check down here but due to panic of zombies i didn't get to really try to see if i could open the door let's find out now perhaps it was the w one right here i can go in here okay what's in here huh oh um, there's an item box. Vitamins and serums. What's with the music? Alright, all my stuff is still here. That's nice. So what's over here? Anything? Anything at all? Yes! Yes! I, would I <coughs> am saving right now! Oh my gosh! I've endured enough stupid suffering! That's that! Save! Finally! For saving over an hour! Ugh! Thank you! Thank you! Very much! <laughs> Bye! Nope! Well, good thing I just saved, because I'm probably almost dead now. Oof. Yeah, I'm almost dead. But I got to save before that, so... It's okay. It is okay. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, uh, Carbon of Armor, whatever. <coughs> Eventually, I'll find a way to unlock those doors. Alright, I'm not going to take the time to see if he's dead right now, because I just want to deal with this. I still have to find an herb, unfortunately. Alright, so there's also a red jewel somewhere. Oh, okay. Right, I can just use it right away instead of examining the thing. Ah, I can't skip this. Terrific. Sorry, guys, but you are watching this with me. There, I got a crest. I want an herb or s one of that f those first aid sprays that Joe started with. All right, so now we'll find out was that guy dead? The answer is No, of course not. Just watch him not be dead. That'd be too convenient. Uh, how many more? Oh, it's time for a reload already. Okay. Yeah, I knew it. It's always too good to be true. Well, there. Okay, I saw a puddle of blood. That means he's dead. Okay. You need to see a puddle of blood appear. Which, unfortunately... I've been having a lot of trouble seeing. What's this? Is this another clip? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Is there anything else here? None of, none of them looks useful. Well, what are they? Nothing special. Alright, um... What about here, um... Maybe I have to go around. What? Die! 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 Haha! <laughs> <laughs> uh, move! Oh! Okay! Finally a scare! Okay! Is there anything here? Okay, Keeper's Diary. Okay, finally! After the frustration with the dogs, I needed something nice like that. 
And night we played poker with Scott the God. Elias and Steve, the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it. Tearing out the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th, 1998. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder those, those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th, 1998. Been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. May 13th, 1998. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and told the doc and the doctor told me that I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. May 14th, 1998. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying, and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. It had been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. <laughs> I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. May 15th, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It was my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leaves the grounds. I can't even make a phone call! What kind of joke is this? May 16th, 1998. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th, 1998. Fever God, bit itchy, hungry, I need doggy food, itchy, itchy Scott came, ugly faces, so I killed him, tasty, oh, itchy, tasty. Did he become a zombie, this guy? Was, was this that guy? What was he doing hiding in the closet? Usually, you're the one hiding in the stinking closets! <laughs> That's probably why they gave me the ammo, <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> nice scare! I'm proud of you, game. I needed a scare. Wait a minute, I probably don't even have to kill this guy. Okay, he's dead. What's over here? Can I go in here? Yes, I can! Cool, let's go inside. It's so nice to actually do things again. What was that? Oh. Generator? No pump. Water seems to be sent from here. The lid is open. Um, do I need the chemical now? I think I might. Are those snakes? Are those snakes? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is where I need the chemicals. So how did that not kill me? Well, we're going back to a save room to get the chemical that I need. It's probably a useful item in there. Alright, I cleared out the enemies here. Okay, it's nice to actually start getting scared again after the frustration that was the couple previous videos. Gotta be careful going around these guys. Dang it, dang it, darn. Alright, well. Let's take the chemical out of the item box before I leave. I couldn't get out quick enough. But I'm finally getting somewhere. Who was waiting for that closet scare, let's be honest? Who was waiting for that? This game has some good scares. Just that when they're regular enemies, they're sometimes frustrating. 
But when they come out as a scare, it's effective. Though I don't think I'll ever get scared by the birds ever again. I mean, the, the dogs. The dogs will forever annoy me. Alright, um, take out the chemical, because I'm gonna need it. Alright. Avoid the monsters to the best of my ability. Thank you, Paul. Alright, there. Now I won't have to go back that way. Good. Okay, good. The pool of blood. That means he's dead. Let's use the chemicals by that pump. It said the chemical was used to kill weeds. That definitely counts as a weed. Oh, okay, that sound kind of freaks me out every single time. What do you mean I can't use it here? What, am I, am I just not facing it properly? Yeah, the lid is open, so... Pour the chemical in, yes! Yes, there we go. I see a statue. They're dead. Aha! I have solved a puzzle. Please don't come back to life like ever. What's this? Wait, another key? I wasn't expecting a key, I was expecting a red gem. Okay, well... I got another key, I'm not sure what to use it for. Huh. I don't know where to use these keys at all. Okay, let's search for a pool of blood. No, no. That's a play dead. That's a play dead. Okay. Refill this. He's going to be coming back up soon. Oh! I thought he was dead! <laughs> that was fun! What's not fun is now I'm in danger, and I haven't found a single herb in how long now? How much of this game am I gonna have to go through without getting hit? I hope I don't run into any new enemies during this time. Goodness, that'd be bad. That would be very bad! The red gem probably gets me another crest. Wait a minute, where else can I even go now? Oh gosh. Well, that's why I have these keys, I guess. <coughs> okay. I should be on the lookout for more ink ribbons as well. Find as many of those as I can. All right, well, let's go back into the closet jump scare room. <laughs> Did I skip the door? There. But seriously, that's a good scare. Usually, it's not the monster hiding in the closet. Usually. I applaud this game for that. I really do. Congratulations, game. You scared me. That's what I expect you to do. Scare me more than frustrate me. Stop doing those stupid dog things. Um, okay, I just want to make sure I'm equipped with the gun. Because I am picking up this diary again. I'm waiting! Oh, okay. Okay, I will take this. And we'll skip through all of it this time. Don't worry, I don't have to read it a second time. Alright. 
So far, the first floor is, for the most part, very safe now. It's just that one room at the moment that has like three zombies in it. Um, should I check to see if I can unlock that door over there by any chance? Ah, okay. Alright, let's go in here, why not? Should I be concerned? Should I be concerned? There's no music. Ooh, yay, more ammo! I'm getting a lot of Beretta ammo, I like. Alright. Okay, it's just a desk. It's locked. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Alright, what's this? This is... Shotgun shells! Okay, we actually got something. Cool. I don't want to go to the safe room here because it is surrounded by many zombies. So, okay. How am I going to work out my inventory now? I feel like I need these keys. But at the same time... Look at how much I'm using up. Maybe I should put the knife away. Until I find an area with dogs again, I suppose I'm not really going to be using it. There we go. <coughs> Actually, what I could do is I could get rid of this crest. But l first, let's see if I can unlock this door now. It's locked. Okay. What? Wait, how am I supposed to get there? Hmm. Well, I suppose at the moment I'll get rid of this crest. <laughs> now that I'm done with those dogs, I'm going back to enjoying the game. I'm sorry. Those dogs were really making me upset. Um, okay, that's just a statue. I thought maybe there were some new enemies here all of a sudden. And I was dreading it. I'm gonna go the safe way. You know, I have a lot of ammo. I could probably start killing some of these zombies now. And maybe I could use one ink ribbon. Just one. I mean, I still gotta be careful using these ink ribbons, but oh my gosh, I hate not saving for super extended periods of time. Besides, I have to stop playing soon. I have to at least use one when I'm gonna stop, right? Otherwise, I have to do all this stuff over again for recording again. Gosh, it's not easy recording this game blindly. Um, wait a minute. Oh! Dang, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to do lots of backtracking now that I have these keys. Maybe I should take a look at a description for these. Nothing important. Uh, check it. Can't even tell me what kind of a crest it is, darn. Oh, and also, I don't plan on using the shotgun for a while, so I should stow away the shells, I guess. But first, let's put this crest back in here. <laughs> okay, let's go. Thankfully, I killed the dog here. Oh, wait, I don't have to do this. Alright, put this in place. There. We've got two more to find. Perfect. But still, progress! At, at last! Actual progress! Yay! I'm so proud of myself. You know, I may actually keep this video going on a little longer just because I want to start exploring these rooms I can actually enter now. Should I kill the zombie? I don't know. Gotten pretty used to just doing that, but he almost got me that time. Dang it. Eh, I think I'll just hold off saving a little bit. Extend the video a little. I'm actually starting to make progress. Gosh darn it, I want to continue making progress. 
Uh, fine. We'll, we'll put the combat knife away for now. I don't see myself using it for the time being. There's an another locked door. I, I gotta start trying all of these doors. Only then will I probably stop recording. This is gonna be an extended video to make up for the other two horrible videos. I don't know how extended it's going to be, but it's gonna be extended a bit. You're welcome. Besides, I'd want to play a little longer. Which mansion key am I using? Because I've got two of them. I'm paranoid! And I still don't have a map. Uh, let's go this way. Trust nothing anymore. I've learned that much. Trust absolutely nothing. It seems someone has searched here already. It appears to be a switch. Um, uh, hold off on that for now. I don't know if I should be pressing that. Oh, researchers will. My dear Alma, the fact that you have received this letter is both a joy and a sadness for me. I cannot even talk to you because of that guy in the sunglasses. Alma, be calm and read this. I think I've told you that I moved to a pharmaceutical company's lab. They had hunted me. Last month there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying escaped. All my colleagues who were infected by the virus are dead. To be accurate, they've become the living dead. They still wander around. Some of them are knocking on my room door desperately right now. There's no sign of intelligence in their eyes. That cursed virus takes away all humanity from the human brain. Love, joy, sorrow, fear, humor, eternity. And Alma, even the memories of the days I spent with you. Yes, I am infected. I did everything I could, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forgot more about you by the day. So I chose a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within an hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you all understand my decision. Goodbye. And forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. So the zombies are under a virus? Is that it? Is there anything in that lab coat? Oh, things are finally starting to go my way. Should I mess with this? Maybe. What happens? What happens? Can I mess around with this again? No? Um, okay. I don't know what that did for me. Okay, nothing. Alright, what about in... Oh! Hi! I knew you were still alive! It's never that easy anymore! <coughs> oh, did she even load on her own? Gosh! I didn't expect a zombie to come through the door! Alright, what's in here? Hey, what's that? Am I gonna need that? At all? Is there anything else here? Within these beds? Uh, is that a red herb? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I can't do anything with that until I find some other herb. Darn it. Let's search over here quickly. Oh, I found something. What is it? Another clip! Ooh, gosh. You know, I'm starting to get quite a good amount of ammo. I, I, I feel like checking the center of the beds one last time. Okay, nothing. Okay. I suppose I've gone on long enough now. 
I'm going to save where I am. Seriously, I wasn't even expecting a zombie to come through that door. By any chance, was that this zombie? Really? It was? Or did I already kill that one? I don't even know anymore, but... Hmm. I'm pretty sure that was actually the same zombie. If so, then... Oh, gosh, I've got a bit more to worry about than I thought. Nope! You are not killing me! You are not killing me! As soon as I find a green herb, I am going to heal myself. But for now, now that I found more ink ribbons too, I'm definitely fine with saving right now. We've got a lot more locked doors to check out in the next video. So in the next video, we are going to search for them. Until then, this has been Tails Fan 109 and have a nice day.